okay, well, I can kind of see that we're in a room. I can see that you're there, but also because you're right in the middle of my vision, I've got like a smudge that kind of cuts across the center of my vision. So that's kind of annoying because generally when you're talking to people, that's where they are. So that kind of, that's kind of a bit of a smudgy spot for me. Alex has uh, peripheral vision only. This means that uh, getting around in general is quite difficult. Looking at the wall is quite hard, so he'll need, um, he does need someone around to guide him as to where it is that he needs to uh, put his hands and feet as he climbs. But he's very keen on learning as much as he can. He's been trying to put on weight, so he eats nearly four avocados a week. Okay, so number seven got reset recently. Should we do that one? Yeah. Um, as far as like the holds, you can kind of see that there are things there, but not well enough to kind of discern, you know, that's the grey one or that's the one with the pink spots or whatever it might be. Kind of root reading is not really my, my strong point. It's not the sort of, it's not the first thing I'd think of, like, no more than like, am I a curly haired climber? Like it's sort of, I am disabled and I am a climber, but I wouldn't say, someone said to me like, you know, what do you like to do in your spare time? I wouldn't say like, oh, I'm a disabled climber, I just, I'm just a climber who happens to have a disability. Over time, his eyesight has got worse and worse, and eventually, unfortunately, he will be completely blind. His visual impairment is, is just something that we both have to sort of deal with, really. Um, me from a teaching point of view and him in life. Um, but other than that, yes, it's, uh, for me, it is just kind of hanging out with Alex for an hour and taking him climbing. Just kind of get a feeling after you've done it a few times. You kind of go, okay, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, about there, yeah. yeah. And you just stick it you end up, and Yeah, and then you end up in your ass going, oh no, I wasn't there yet. <laughs> I mean, the first step is almost the hardest part because you kind of have to pluck yourself up a little bit and take the plunge. But I'm well glad I did. I'm not exaggerating, but it is kind of life changing. You kind of, it's just, a, it's just fun as well. I mean, just come have fun, give it a try. If you don't like it, you haven't, you, at least you can say you've tried it.